Hi everybody, welcome to a virtual tour of the Backyard Bird Center brick and mortar store. Um, we uh, know that a whole lot of you do not need this, uh, that many of you are super regular customers, you come in the store all the time, so you know where everything is. But it's been pointed out to us that there are a lot of people, uh, especially new people out there in the cyber world who have never been to our store and would like a tour. Uh, so I am going to walk you through the store, kind of give you a tutorial. I know lighting is going to be bad in some cases because it's pretty sunny right now. So uh, be patient with that. But we're going to uh, slowly take a walk around the store. I'm going to flip the camera around. This is as you're coming through the front door. This is uh, the front door is at my back right now. So this is going to be when you come through the front door. And there's a rule of thumb in, um, in shopping, and that is that no one sees anything in the first 10 feet of your store because their eyes are still adjusting from bright outside to your lighting inside. And so a lot of things get missed that are within the first 10 feet of your front door. So we're going to start at the front door. We're going to take a right and then we're going to uh, work our way around the store. So here goes flipping the camera around. So. When you come into the front door, this is a, 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 just a good shot of straight down the middle of the aisle. Uh, we've got a, a nice spring flag up hanging from the ceiling. You know, we do sell flags, and so that's greeting you as you first come in the door. And this first rack tends to feature um, feeders that are a bit of a miscellaneous category, and they're quite often very pretty. Hi, Danielle. How are you? Um, this, uh, these are a lot of the mesh feeders that are good for uh, straight black oil sunflower seed. So uh, this is right in the front door. And then if we turn even further to our right, we have the window feeders. And then that makes sense that we have window feeders that are attached to the window because that is a very common need for a lot of people. So we have those right on, inside the front door uh, on the window. And then we have a display of... Um, uh, bee houses. Bees have, uh, and pollinators have got, become very, very important in the news and they are uh, uh, getting a lot more attention and they are in great need of help. So we have started carrying a lot of bee paraphernalia to um, help you help your pollinators in your native plantings in your garden, so in your yard. So this is a, a section for them. And then the first section on the wall are fence feeders. Uh, up here in the corner we have the fence socks um, and we also have quite a selection of fence feeders. Uh, the um, many favorite, the, the spiral feeders are very very uh, popular among the finches and then uh, a lot of the mesh type feeders and then the classic fence tubes. Uh, here these are uh, aspect fence tubes but of various length and colors. And then we have uh, a selection, we've got a display showing how you can cage a finch feeder if you want to feed sunflower chips or niger, uh, uh, instead of niger, uh, the squirrels really like that. So you can keep the squirrels out of your sunflower chips by caging in a finch feeder. So a lot of what we do is we try to give you ideas on how to solve problems. Uh, next we move on to the multi-seed feeders. The Multi-seed just means you can feed a lot of different kinds of seed from them. Uh, the uh, sunflower, safflower, things like that. Uh, with a lot of display with their, our hoods. And we have here, we're all a little bit higher. You know, we have our fancy hood and our fancy to, to set up. These are to, uh, for rain protection and they also, the seed helps to keep um, these, a lot of mess off the ground and also gives other birds a, a good place to to perch so you can have more hello Jean. oh that's oh hello Jean. yeah there's some people but I, I can see the thing pops up on my screen every once in a while i can see you guys saying hi um and then we move on to the squirrel proof section squirrel proof is a major thing in the bird feeding world and uh in our opinion you know the we, we carry what we we feel are the best in that Line. We have the squirrel buster family, which is amazing. Uh, the tube type feeders that the cage slides down on top of them. 
and the absolute feeders uh, here are uh, a weighted feeder that the weight, uh, the, the, the door shuts on those to you know, whenever the squirrels try to get down there to feed. And then we move further down to our hopper slash fly through tray wall, which is a lot of feeders. Maybe whenever I always say that when you, the word, you know, bird feeder pops in your mind, this is kind of the image you get of uh, a bird feeder or the classic house or hopper feeders. There are many to choose from, many of which are uh, made of recycled milk jugs, which is great. Uh, they'll last pretty much forever. And then we also do have some wooden ones because people uh, like the uh, the wooden still. So, And then we go to our peanut feeders. Uh, my wife's favorite feeder. Melanie loves the peanut feeders because she gets to watch the birds feed longer on those. Those are mesh and uh, the mesh is so the size that they do not, uh, the peanuts don't fall out of it. The birds have to work for it to get that out of there. The peanuts out of there, they tend to last a little longer. And then we get to our suet corner. The suet corner is uh, the, the suet cakes and the seed blocks, seed cakes, and the seed uh, and the suet uh, plugs that fit into the the holes uh, uh, into a, a log type like this that are locally made. Um, and then we have the blocks which come in square or rectangular or cylinders. These have become very popular because of they're so clean. Clean feeding, Mr. Bird, uh, is the main line there that we carry out of Texas, and they. Uh, People love their, their seed cylinders. And just to the left of that is our squirrel headquarters. Yes, people love their squirrels. Some people hate their squirrels, but they use uh, the, the can't beat them, so join them method, whereas you're uh, feeding the squirrels to try to help keep them out of your feeder. So we do have a section that are dedicated to squirrel feeders and squirrel seed. We're quite low right now. We're out of ear corn at the moment, so the truck's coming later. And then we move out here to the, the center of the store, and I'm going to flash back to the islands that I missed. Um, the, this is the Hummingbird Island. As you can see, the uh, Hummingbirds should be back in the next couple of three weeks, so we got a lot of people interested in, in what's going on in the hummingbird world. But the uh, hummingbird feeders come in many sizes and shapes. We have gone through uh, and weeded out hummingbird feeders for years. We carry what we believe in, we carry what we feel like work and uh, the hummingbirds like, and most importantly are easy to clean. That is our uh, criteria for that because clean hummingbird feeders are healthier for birds. So now just to the right of them is the Orioles section and people love their Baltimore Orioles and they'll be coming in about the same time as the hummingbirds mid-April uh, is when we should start looking for them. But the Oriole feeders came about because the Orioles were landing on the hummingbird feeders and drinking the sugar water out of there. They also love their grape jelly and the uh, oranges. So most of these feeders are uh, built so that one or two of those can be fed, either the nectar and the, um, the oranges, the nectar and the jelly, or both, uh, any combination of those. So the the Oriole feeders are very popular, and like I said, the Orioles will be coming in really soon. Now, uh, we have another island here. I want to show you the end of this. This is the uh, island just at the end of the Oriole feeders with a new type of hummingbird feeder that we've just gotten in. Uh, these were designed and created by the people who uh, maintain the hummingbird avarium at the, the Sonoran Desert Museum in Tucson, Arizona. They are uh, as I was, uh, many people were testifying to me that they are the truly only bee-proof hummingbird feeder on the market. So we're excited to get those in this spring and show you those, and and uh, hopefully uh, people will really like those. And we know the hummingbirds like them. So, and then we have an, uh, our last island here, which is kind of dedicated one to uh, hummingbirds. I mean, not hummingbirds, bluebirds. And then we have a kind of a gifty section here for when people first come in the store to see that. So some gift ideas uh, uh, on there and some more finch feeders on the end here. So our islands are uh, changing a lot and but uh, we try to dedicate them to uh, like one species or, or a group of birds. This is uh, really dedicated to the bluebirds here on this side 
Uh, it has uh, a kind of a mixture of bird, uh, bluebird houses, uh, ideas for feeding bluebirds, and then some gift items as well too that deal with that. So the birds and the bluebirds. So but then we go straight back uh, into the back of the store, like uh, grocery stores where they put the milk at the back of the grocery stores. So you have to pass by everything to uh, get to what you want. So hopefully you'll be inspired to buy something on the way to get your milk. Kind of same thing with the uh, the, the bird seed. Our bird seed here at the back. Uh, this is a center island of Wild Delight, which has been a mainstay of our store since I bought the business back in 2002. A great national company. Very, very supportive of what we do. Uh, cleanest seed I have ever seen. And they're vitamin fortified. Just a, a terrific company. Terrific um, bird seed. So we have quite a, a selection of their, their products. And then to our right at the back in our little alcove of bird seed, this is our um, generic seeds, if you will. This comes from uh, Des Moines Feed Company, and they uh, produce a very, very clean seed and high quality too. They have a very high standard as, as to the loads of seed that they accept. They they reject a lot of uh, seeds that do not meet their standards. Um, who gets those those loads of bird seed? Well, you can get us the the cut rate stores and the grocery stores that uh, don't don't take any. Uh, precautions like that so they buy the seed that uh, Des Moines feed rejects so uh, this is our kind of the start of the fence section here the French seed mixtures here then over here to the peanuts and then our 50 pound wall as we call it whereas we have the bigger bags and then you can see how wiped out we are over here in the, the or my custom blend boardwalk blend is down to 150 pound bag or 140 pound bag now hopefully that loads coming tomorrow and the smaller bags there. Then, as we progress around from the back of the store, another mainstay of our business, and that is deck arms and hangers and pole systems made by uh, Irva, which is a great company out of Chicago, the old downtown Chicago. And they, uh, we've been with us since the beginning and high quality products made in the USA, uh, as good as it gets. We, we are so proud of our relationship with uh, Herba, they uh, th this section of the store is unique. Uh, you can buy cheap metal uh, poles from a lot of places that uh, will bend on you and are probably made in China. These are all made in the USA and we have uh, the pole systems that go in your yard, on your deck, for hanging tree limbs. Uh, very, uh, Ruth coined the phrase many years ago, erector sets for adults. Um, so that's what the, you can build these pole systems and be uh, uh, the way you want them and expand them and add squirrel baffles, raccoon baffles, everything. So, and then we have, uh, back here, we have a, one, a, a small selection of uh, the heated bird bass. We have bird bass uh, around in a couple of locations. These are the heated bird bass back here at this part of the store. And then we progress back to the front counter, to our counter. And of course, our optics section, uh, the binoculars and spotting scopes. Uh, this is a, it's funny, we've, we've carried them since day one, um, but until we moved the binoculars back here on this back shelf behind the register, uh, some people had looked up and said, oh, you guys carry binoculars. And that was, you know, 15 years after us being in business. So that uh, when you move something, that can be a huge uh, influence and in, in just marketing it and getting it in front of people. Some of the beautiful handmade uh, glass hummingbirds here at the front counter. Uh, we have a soot special going on. Here are some soot cakes that we uh, have a special deal on right now. And then around the front of the register, we have our uh, spinners, which would, that we see you see going out in our front island uh, at different times of the year. These are the, the very well accepted. Uh, some gift items here: the the tea towels and and mats and things, the uh, Vallis's Cottage has been a very popular line. Uh, we have a little kids section here with uh, the singing birds and uh, uh, kids books that we really like. And keep moving down the line. We have some, uh, this is kind of the gift section of the store on this half and there's coffee mugs and, and uh, note cards and singing clocks and lots of things that, that along that line you know, coffee mugs are very very popular um, the 
and we get up to the front of the house, the uh, front of the store, the house, yes. The, I feel like I live here. Um, and we get to the uh, rain gauges and bird houses. This front corner is dedicated to bird houses and got some selection from the pretties and that are very practical and the practicals that are very practical, which is a good thing. So we get back around to the front window, pardon the glare, but we do have wind chimes and some uh, garden ornaments. Uh, our purple martin section here on this island. Um, also uh, much more of our bird bath selection. Some of the ones that are made from granite and, and, and composite materials as well. So Martins and uh, bird bass here. Turn to here, we have our uh, wind chimes, which are uh, hand-tuned, wonderful hand ch wind chimes. Uh, garden flags, uh, standard flags and garden flags and mailbox covers, which are very, very popular. And then the last island that we're going to cover we have our Tilly hats, uh, best hats made, lifetime warranty, uh, all only hat endorsed by the Mayo Clinic for skin cancer protection. Just an uh, exceptionally good product. And then our books. We have lots of books and puzzles. Puzzles are really popular this time of year, right? and, and especially well during the winter. And now with the our uh, confinement, we the the the, the 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 puzzles are wonderful, especially after all nature oriented. Uh, we have field guides and, and informational books too, so you can learn about uh, all parts of nature and take on a hike with you. And then the last section around here is more field guides. Obviously, it'd be in a bird store. We're very bird book uh, heavy, so that's a virtual tour of the store. That is uh, where we are. That's what we do, and we are. Uh, Tickle to death that you joined in with us, and we're going to post this so people can access it later. So thanks for joining in. Have a great day.